But get to the creep block, that's for sure. Pylai dies, still hoping to be to challenge Whoa. that, but he's going to run into three heroes. Not what he's anticipating. They're going to pull him back, but now the Purge is going to hit both of them into the double stomp. Oh, Pylai die and Puppy. What did you think you were doing? They tied their fates together, and now they both may end up going down as Bulba's going to chase down and get yet another purge off. And that'll leave Kuro, if necessary, to throw down another stomp to finish off Puppy's life. And yeah, he goes for Ooh. it. Hook stops, but the right clicks are still there, and a double kill goes to Bulba. Yeah, I don't know. He It was like he was like looking somewhere. Void versus Storm go a little bit better, right? Yeah, it was only early on. He also, in the first wave, tanked like two or three even um, remnants. One of his Q is on cooldown, so I put him on like half HP. And it's sort of like this weird place where the storm actually has a little kill potential, so he had to like back up and miss a couple CS for it. Uh, hook goes out. Actually snags Matumba Man. That was a long range one. He does have wave for him though, and he'll turn around and just kill Puppy. Meanwhile, MP's battling it up against Curl. Curl's not dead yet. Shadow Demon will get the last hit, and they get the Luna in return. Unable to get Matumba Man though as well, and that'll mean a two for one exchange. The bottom lane in favor of Liquid. They take both the support and the carry, only losing Curl in return. Oh, mid lane, yeah, they're thanks. actually going to go for this one. Kuro's going to go out with a stomp. Well set up. Surely this time around, Miracle will get himself a bash in one of these hits. Not even necessary. He'll play the claim to the kill. 5-1 to one now in favor of Liquid. Yeah, he bashes the creep right after they get the kill. It's a, a classic. <laughs> oh, the Tumba Man. He doesn't have way for him. He's completely out of mana. Nothing Bulba can do to save his carry. Uh, this bot lane is going crazy, killing back and forth. Old though, MP takes a good share of damage from Liquid, but now will receive some of the benefits of the Oracle heal as he survives through the burst. Yeah, this bot lane, even though um, the Tomo Man has gotten a couple of pick-me-up kills, um, they sort of fed away a few kills. He's definitely behind on CS, uh, the Luna, that Luna, the Lunar Blessing damage really coming into play. and. Like, they're just, you know, it's really hard to last it whenever you have two heroes with the same damage oh as you. Oh, God. Miracle. <laughs> he gets hooked, and he knew he was dead, so he turns and fights Puppy, and actually manages to... Some some supports will sometimes... Some teams will leave their, like, four or five position support at the bottom lane, um, just to be able to soak experience. Oh! We'll talk about that in a minute because mid one. Oh no! The punch hook. It wasn't quite long enough. They're going to throw down the Beastmaster Roar and barely have enough damage to finish him off. Miracle, two more seconds till a time walk is up. He gets a little bit of heal and will be good to go. Meanwhile, Mind Control, he's going to be one in serious trouble. Miracle runs himself away knowing Mind Control cannot be saved. They do get the. I've gotten that kill because uh, mm. time walk was on cooldown. MP. Works his way around. Oh, that's right. Uh, I wouldn't talk to like when do you know uh, MP? Maybe that's not a fight you should take. Oh god. He just fed away carry for carry and nothing like a tool to get heroes to six or you know, sometimes you can just like sit a lion down there for a long amount of time if you have other heroes to make moves so you can get towards a blink if you don't only have much catch, stuff like that. Um, for like timings typically. Yeah. And this is why you abandon your safe lane. You see the mid rotating across teams. Really take like these big scale team fights because they don't really have the catch. Um, Liquid's team fight is just better. So they have to take these small skirmishes to get them to use ults and then turn that into kills and pushes, I think. Oh, Stomp's going to go down. Mid one is forced to dodge it. He does manage to get the right click. They'll get Pudge in return. Waveform forward. Matumba Man actually challenging mid one, but now Fred's going to be able to jump in there with him. He has a replicate out, trying to separate his hero from the replicate. He's surviving for the meantime, but needs to be able to jump away. Last second, gets a jump. Waveform's out, and he's good. Miracle. Uh, that's pretty rough. I mean, he could have jungled and been much farther ahead than where he is now. And you'll see him try and take advantage of a little bit of the jungle. Meanwhile, it seems like we're also just uh, a little bit slow on our rotations for Liquid. They keep on missing out on clutch timings. They will manage to get a Primal Roar onto Pylai Die. Stomp will go down, but Midwan stays ahead of it, going straight for Bulba. Bulba does have its ult and forced to use it here, in which case Midwan is just going to turn for the kill on my control instead. Midwan completely out of mana, though. The Chronosphere is going to go down on Pylai Die. Miracle's damage is needed, though, to help out Midwan. He'll turn around after executing Pylai Die, makes the jump forward. Midwan, no real escape here, as the Spirit's going to be on one side and Oracle on the other. Jumps, can't make it over the leap, and will manage to be caught there by the Oracle. Miracle, meanwhile, two more seconds. They have the pure damage burst. 
Ferev, a little bit more mana for it, but the time walk is away, and Ferev may not have any more mana to go for it. It's going to be Puppy left out in the cold as, once again, Bulba's going to be the other side, sandwiching the hero two to three. Is that what the, the total cost of that, that whole entire team fight was? And it looks like they went out big time favor for Liquid. Yeah, but I'm ready for it, like the Morphling before he has Lincolns. But if you're not successful, you're just going to fall flat because then you don't have the, the Bloodstone and you just inevitably don't scale very well. Matumba Man gets bursted by the combination of Puppy and MP. Well put together, Hook and Eclipse combination. Yeah, that was... But honestly, things have uh, turned against them in in some ways just because i you know i see mind control a little bit suffering i see the morphling go down mid one though is going to be caught and this is big keeping you know killing the the morphling really important keeps the lincolns away means that the storm spirit has more time to for miracle doesn't have his manta yet so looks like secret are going to go for a push on mid they were hoping to be able to get a pick and maybe puppy just found it mind control definitely dead when forever's right there next to pudge and now that'll mean a tier one tower easily taken, especially with still pushing the most this game. He's up top now, trying to get the, near the tower. I think they're all around bottom, pressuring the tower. Long jump in, we'll be able to find Bulba first. The Orca goes down on mind control, really well played by mid one, but unfortunately the Necronomicon minions eat through his mana so quickly, but they've already taken two. Can they get a third Matumba man? He's certainly not gonna be a target. Curl would be a better one for Ev. Gets a Chakram onto him, a little bit of help from Pylai Dai. Pylai Dai in trouble from Matumba man. Burst damage on Kuro, not quite enough. The Glimmer Cape is enough to make him escape. And Pylai Dai, he's the victim in return to the Morphling's aggression. Right back up to top lane, Miracle's able to get the tier two being this kind of area, both mid and bottom, but I'm sure we're going to have a fight before that because Secret are four-manned up. Timbersai, I'm sure, he's ready to go with the boots of travel. 25 seconds, maybe not. Four more seconds. They've got Miracle dead to rights. Maybe they can go for more. Team Secret, mid one, sitting pretty healthy in mana. They know they can't be killing this Timbersaw. He is the bot, so just forcing Liquid to um, deal with the lane so they can play around the rush pit. Rev gonna be spotted here, unable to get away. He actually may be bursted down. No Bloodstone Suicide even. He goes down that quick, and that's the help right there of the Elder Titan. So surprised that playing to defend. Secret just funnel into the Roshan pit and take it real quickly, but. Yeah, Liquid realized that they were trying to do that, and just nobody TP top because the, they knew the Timber was gonna rotate oh, around. Oh, 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 oh. The power of pure damage against a Morphling right there. Timbersaw blinks in, gets his nice Chakram duo, and then Pudge with the long range hook is able to hit him as well. Now Miracle's gonna be caught out, Orchided, unable to defuse a blade and split up in time. Puppy snags him with a dismember. The face is void, but as you can see, the melee wax is already gone. The damage is done. Secret will start to back away. Oh, never yeah, mind. They're gonna jump in. No, oh, that's not the jump they wanted. It's snatching with the hook. They do manage to still get the kill on the Oracle, clean up the range tracks, and will now back up. Yeah, it's probably more important, right? That's a more integral part of the strategy right now. It's just how are you going to high ground push? Miracle picks up the sneaky Shadow Blade. Might just have a beautiful Chronosphere, but his team isn't fully in position to defend. He goes for Pylai Dai, though. That's the important hero. Still will manage to catch out the three-man Chronosphere and almost pops MP as well. MP gets off the Eclipse, but only for a second. He goes down mid one and Forever going to be left to try and carry out this team fight against Liquid, but it's not looking great. Maybe Forever gets bashed up mid Timber Chain, jumps away there from Miracle. Spends a little bit of time away from the Timber Saw, who's forced to commit suicide via Bloodstone. And Liquid found their eyes come back up. The next team fight's going to happen on their side of the map, though. This could be a way back for Liquid, or it could be potential death toll for them. Oh, Bulba going to be able to make the TP out, but it's more importantly Miracle who goes down as he's caught by mid one. Another long jump forward, looking for mind control. Whatever plus one they can get. They may actually end up losing Rax here. Uh, if Liquid, you know, forcing... Oh, Jesus, Puppy, what a snag. Long range into the enemy base. Gets Kuro, one of the better high ground defenders. And now Secret just file on in. They go for whatever else they can get. It's going to be Bulba caught outside of the fountain. He'll go down. And mid one may be low on mana, but it doesn't really matter anymore. MP is here for the backup. Those Raxes just disappear, and they're going to make it so easy. They're going to end this game before anybody comes back up. No Mega Creeps, nothing silly like that. They're just going to go ahead 
and goes straight for the throne. And with Aluna, they could certainly do so. The jump out, Mind Control goes and tries to eliminate Pudge. It's not actually enough, though. And he will manage to survive the buybacks out. Miracle's now alive. One more second, but the Roshan, or excuse me, the Radiant Ancient is about to go down secret. Back up a little bit. Leave the illusions to make the commitment here. They know that a big Chronosphere is the only way Liquid can stop this game from ending. And they've caught Miracle. He's down. And now Secret stream forward once again. Matumba Man with his Ethereal Blade tries to get back to the fountain. But it's really just delaying the inevitable. Whether he dies or not, this game should be over. As Secret catch another one. Kuro, he's going to go down. My control. Oh, he goes down instead. Bulba chose to save Kuro. Kuro throws out the stomp. And now the throne will go down. And game number one is taken by Team Secret. A little bit, use this orb to try and get two CS and miss both of them. They were both a little too uh, high HP. Curl lays down a torrent, tries to juke it out. Will still be gone on here. Midwan is going to commit to his orb, and Puppy will go all the way into the Tier 1 tower, committing the Riptide, and claims the kill. Even has the level 2 to image up and dodge some of the damage coming out from both Miracle and the tower. That's our first blood. Meanwhile, a top lane, Matumba Man has actually gone down. They killed the Keeper of the Whirling Death. And and I'm, I'm correct in saying this, right? That the debuff stacks. Yes. So our poor Huskar is going to lose 25% of his strength twice in a row. Sunstrike's going to come in, nails Pylite Die, evening up the kill score and giving Miracle a little extra change to work with. Uh, he can spin out the waves and then pull this hard camp, whereas the Void really has no way to shove the lane. So they're juggling out farm him. The, uh, in the long run, this line. They're gonna make a go on the Huskar here, already bringing him low, but he does have the backup of the Oracle. Oh my god, he just right clicked him down. What a beast. Forev, he'll get X torrented up and die in return, but come on, a Timber Saw killing a Huskar early on in the laning phase. That is, that's something you're real happy with. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty rough for Liquid because the Timber Saw got the, uh, got the XP from that. The Huskar didn't, so he's up to level 5 now. Mm -hmm. um, only like a wave and a half away from getting his level 6. Whenever he has that, this Huskar is going to have a huge issues laning here. Especially, like you said, with the Chakra Magic. And Another X, Torrent, and Sunstrike combination. The man on the white horse cannot stand up against that nuke damage control. But uh, wasn't able to catch him before the time walk away. Meanwhile, that leaves Puppy in mid against Miracle's Invoker. Miracle, he does have the Sunstrike. Just trying to get the right-click kill first. Puppy wanders straight into it. Oh, gotta head check yourself after that one. Liquid, meanwhile, at bottom lane, they're gonna be able to get the Chronosphere on MP. Burst damage might be there with a Torrent. MP gonna be able to spin in a second. They need a Bash desperately, and they've got it too. Mind Control keeps MP in place long enough for Bobo to pick up the last hit. Oh, they almost, uh, they almost messed that up pretty bad. Bulba accidentally, uh, purifying flames to creep. So if he didn't get that bash, he might have lived. Matumba Man trying to make the run away. Chakram. And it's actually Pylai Die getting some vengeance. Went solo killed Miracle. And, goddamn. They, they just won't stop with kills all happening at once. Midwan gets a double damage. He did quite well in the Storm Sphere. It was a rough start for him, but... He managed to get back into the game pretty well, and he's already having a great start with the puck. Hopefully he doesn't die here, though. Oh. Dodged a little bit of damage. The heal's going down, but finally the purge does come out. Bulba threw it onto Kuro, and Kuro just walked next to the puck. And they did he didn't gank him now because his arm late is going to be so late. They're just going to continue to just sit on him and make sure he can't get to it. Midwan. Showing that rotation right here. They're going to Dream Coil him up. MP ready to go with the Omni Slash. That physical damage burst should be easily enough. And now Bulba, in his attempt, misguided as it may be, to attempt to save the Huskar, he's going to be caught as well. MP picks up the double. Yeah, it's this is the, the against Huskar. He was like, you need one of two things. You need to either pressure him in the lane, or you need to have some heavy like team fight counters to him at around that 20 to 25 minute mark. Otherwise, Huskar just snowballs out of control. Chronosphere used in the mid lane, and they got themselves a puck kill. So the first uh, or second rotation of the Chronosphere is successful as well. Mind Control having a better game than he did last time. Going down, the bow comes out. Forev gets bursted despite Puppy's attempt to stop the combination. Song of the Siren was not the counter to Chronosphere this day. Yeah, that's level one song down as well. It's pretty huge. Liquid May looks like it's going to back up and farm up. Um, but taking that song out of taking the song out of play and getting that tier one tower. Uh, is really, really huge as Invoker because that means they can't really pressure yours that well because you can shove up the lane even further. They can't rotate uh, in as easily TPN to uh, to gank you and then try and take the tower afterwards. 
So having that just like lets them farm the ancients <laughs> over the lane. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm laughing at the the poor timing of mind control. Last time, you know, he was trying to set up for that kill on mid. Puppy, you know, kind of spots him out. And then this time around, he time walks into a double damage invoker with Omni Slash ready to go. Like, it doesn't get worse than that. Yeah, that is... Uh... He's, oh, he's doing the old, uh, man. man, it's the only rune that kills me. Yeah, Matumba Man is going to be saved here by the Oracle. They're going to turn around if the Sunstrike landed. They could have gotten that kill on Forev. Maybe they still can. Forev turns around, tries to get last minute burst damage. He did it too. Oh, that had to be a tough read. I'm sure he saw that he was just dead, stuck in those trees, so he went for the only... Um, considering. That's um kind of the element of the Naga Siren, right? Unless you have a Songa Siren, you can't really do much to save people, and that's... Kind of what the supports are supposed to do nowadays. Speaking of uh, defensive supports, Bulba gets caught by Secret. Again, they just own... I'm sure there's going to be some action soon. As we're going to see Pylai die. I think just threw out a recall for mid one. Pulls him in, and they're going to go for Matsu. Jumps in, Silence will lead the way. MP has an Omni Slash in a second, if necessary. And it is necessary. Even gets some damage onto my control. But will be left in a Chronosphere, Sunstrike, Torrent, Wombo combo with a ship. Just added on top for the extra oomph. And a core trade off it is. Yeah, Liquid's fine. Well, the Sunstrike was laid out somewhere. The scan. It was trying to set Midwan up for a potential jump, but it looks like Miracle backs up. Curl. He enters the scene instead, though, and he is going to be the target. Bursted down pretty quickly by Forever and Midwan. Yep. And they just continue to make some space for his team and this Huskar to catch up, but it's just really, really difficult with the Coddle always pulling people over the place. So they always have like three heroes here, MP and Pilot Eye staying down here, the plus one, able to come at any time. Space created, Miracle gets a kill on the Timber Saw at that top lane. Freeze a whole lot of ways to just get waves out super duper quickly. Um, a whole lot of wave clear on Secret. And just forcing the Huskar to always be lasting under his tower. Oh, poor Pylai die! Spotted by Kuro. He sees the blast comes out, managed to get a, a nicely placed torrent into the game really late versus Liquid is what it looks like they want to do. Okay, well, I mean, that would certainly explain a lot a lot of the reason that uh, Secret aren't trying to, you know, really take over the game at this 20 minute mark or continue to go for this. Pylai die going to be the target of a Chronosphere. That says a lot about the Liquid mentality, that they're willing to throw out a Chronosphere just for, you know, quick support kill, whatever they can get, essentially. But Mind Control is going to pay the ultimate price, it looks like. Not able to time walk away, Diffuse the Blades off the Silence, though, and will now make his jump out. MP unable to close the distance, time for an Omni Slash for M, makes his jump away. Matumba Man will be stopped in his tracks by the uh, Puppy Ult. That's going to be another level one Song of the Siren down. This is a good three and a half minutes where if Liquid wanted to, they could try and go for a tower and set up some sort of uh, team fight scenario if they feel comfortable with where Matumba Man's at now. Yeah, the coil is also down. They saw mid one push out that lane with pretty low mass. I know he's probably going to go back to base. Um, and then you know the the heroes not be set, not being setting up the, the, the heroes not being set up for this. Uh, Timbers, whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Forev! He spots a small little opening and he bounces on that one. Gets the free kill there. Meanwhile, Miracle coming in from behind gets Pylai Die. He'll have to turn around and try and help out for Forev, though, as the rest of his team is closing the distance. TP's gonna come in. That's gonna be MP. MP does have his Omni Slash. This is gonna be a dangerous fight. Mind Control, he pays the price for it, too. Torrent onto two. That allows Miracle and the rest of his boys to get some escape, maybe. Kuro needs a little bit of extra help. He's gonna go ship. Look Looks like he probably could be dead here. Meanwhile, we have mid one chasing down Bulba as well as Miracle. Very important kills, but they don't have the vision. Back over to Kuro next to the tier one tower, caught out by the shotgun. And sure enough, there was no way he was going to make his way out of that one. Yeah, Liquid played right into the way Seeker, the one to take. Just the 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 net worth backing them on their cores. Yeah, they have almost no way to deal with Naga Illusions. No AOE. Um, not that much nuking potential. Huskar is oh. Omni Slash, Sunstrike, Combination, MP goes down. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised he was up there, but... Liquid do find a pick and uh, actually push into Secret with this Radiance coming up. Miracle's the only one really keeping in this game. Mind Control needs to be able to make a time walk away, but Tumble Man actually just jumps right in, making himself a target. Forev keeping a distance until he knows he can burst him down, and sure enough, he got him. 
Looks like Oracle died as well. MP able to clean him up with the Omni Slash, and now it's just a question of how. And he ended up not being able to get it off, got silenced, and brought down. Um, it's really hard to deal with that as an Oracle whenever there's a specific hero that you really need to ult. It's really, really difficult. Whenever you items like Blink, Glimmer Cave, stuff like that to keep yourself safe. Oh, Blinding Light will give MP a fighting chance. He defuses off that Blinding Light and will try to get some damage onto MP, who spins away with the extra bit of help of Healing Ward. Nicely placed Torrent, though, by Kuro, and they'll catch MP in the end. Pylite Die will manage to TP himself out, so he's all... Well, she's never really going to be there. A Puck here, you can't really solo kill that well. Um, you know, Seeker just has a whole lot of cores, so he's going to have to play really well. You can get the occasional pick off, but he actually is going to be caught immediately. Secret. Pounce onto him. Bulba will be able to heal him up a little bit, it looks like, with the ultimate. Miracle's going to take a large amount of damage, I imagine, but not quite enough to burst him down. Meanwhile, Matumba Man fighting into Puppy has to dodge the pure damage coming out from the Chakram, but it's going to be caught by an ensnare. Nice jump away using the ultimate onto the illusions. Now the space being created by a tornado. Matumba Man's actually going to escape there. Sunstrike off the mark. Kuro won't be making it out alive, but Forev is going to be caught in the process. Easily bursted down on the slash bouncing around. Oh my god, all of Liquid are so low, they burst down three. Matumba Man last man alive and Matsu he's done it many many times this game let's give him one more death nine this late game they, they really don't have any Naga answers this puck is always gonna be on top of this Oracle so he's never really gonna have the ability to ult the Huskar unless it's the perfect fight scenario Matumba Man jumps forward, going for Pylite Tide, boom! Mind Control, already gone, Bulba, he saves Matumba Man as best he can, but the damage output is just simply not enough. Bulba in the back line is going to be caught by Forev. Pull back, and somebody's going to right-click him. He's surviving a lot longer, they're actually going to commit a couple of heroes there <laughs> to finish him off. Mid one was hoping to be able to get the extra kill on a Kuro, doesn't quite have the burst damage yet. Dagon needed a few more seconds. Meanwhile, Puppy, he just caught himself a miracle, Invoker. Trapped up, not going to be able to make the blink away. It looks like with MP already spinning out the ensnare, making sure Miracle stays in one place for the team to burst him down. That's four dead, only Kuro making it out alive. 18 to 28 as Team Secret starts sieging the bottom lane. Yeah, really nice rotation from the public. Getting the fairies in the map and now getting the Roshan as well. Yeah, it seems like Liquid's only real hope at this point is uh, a smoke push out. And just, I mean, they're doing it completely blind, but they might just be lucky enough to stumble into Roshan. The Sunstrike lands. They are in a position here for Mind Control to be able to land the Chronosphere. They get it just on MP, but maybe they can burst him down. Mid one, though, he's already taken out Bulba, and Matumba Man's having issues with Forever. All that burst damage. The choke comes in, but unfortunately, the Tornado allows them to be able to dodge most of that. Now Miracle's cop of the ensnare. He will manage to Ghost Walk himself a bit of distance away, just trying to get out of range of those Nagas Iron Illusions with the gem. He'll drop down to pretty much no HP thanks to the boat. But fortunately, there is no radio. Not sure if he really wants to go. The Saga Siren, too close to risk that one. Meanwhile, Matumba Man's going to be initiated on. Pylai Die found his opening with recall in from Fred Bulba. He managed to save Matumba Man for the time being, but he gets Omni Slashed. In return, Matumba Man heals right back up to full. Meanwhile, Miracle tried to go in from behind. Tried to catch Puppy, gets turned around on by Midwan back over to mid-tier 2. The Tubba Man takes a good amount of time to below half HP from just uh, Fared blinking in and getting his combination off. Now he even has Lotus Orb, so he can deal with the time dilation. It's all up to Mind Control at this point. Oh, the counter from Midwan! Beautifully blinks in and silences Mind Control, halting that one. Fared's in deep. The boat's going to land on Pylai Die. They do have a second chance at this. The Song of Siren goes down. Rev, he just goes deeper. Jesus. He gets X'd up. Maybe they can turn on him somehow. They unfortunately don't have a whole lot of damage. Mind Control's here. He's got the Chronosphere if necessary. They're trying to go on Fred, but he makes a Timber Chain away. Meanwhile, Oracle couldn't deal with Radiance damage, and Mind Control goes down again. Midwan, beyond godlike, cannot stop him. At this point, Matumba Man all the way back to the fountain with him. Barely makes it out alive. Rev will Timber Chain himself out once again. Lotus Orb up, keeping Liquid trapped inside of their own high ground of the fountain. While well, the rest is secret, to go for the objectives. Nice jump in. Dream Coil onto three. Bursting down Matumba Man. Miracle's up next. He goes down. Curl left waiting the inevitable fate. 19 to 38 is our closing score as Secret dominate Liquid in this game, too. Yeah, Puppy realizing that uh, that he didn't go back.